annoying phone calls had to put the phone down people do me so wrong falling out of love now life move fast so i'm always on the go now that's just how it goes that's just how it goes living life out on the road living life out on the road running out of real love gave it all away this is interesting just from this thumbnail you got your blue side you got your red side got your democrats got your republicans you got your crits you got your blood <laughs> i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing but breaking down just this thumbnail i can see he's gonna be representing both sides you know because i'm a, i'm a i'm a future teller you know i'm psychic like i can see into the shits right He's going to be representing both sides. And knowing Tom, he'll probably have like his self narrating or something to symbolize that we're all one American. I think that's about right. I, I, I think that's about right. I'm going I'm to after the video, I'm going to look at the comments and I'm going to see if I was right for sure. But we going to jump into this intro, though. It's me. It's me. Simba TV. Bang. What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Simicon back here again with another reaction video for you guys today. For today's reaction video, we got Tom McDonald, me versus you. So let's jump up in it. I'm the one that you hate for making America great. And I'm the one who's trying to build back better. We ain't the same. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. What a joke. Does white privilege have something to say? Yo, Yo president drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through the roof. There ain't no jobs to be found. Inflation going up. My kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows it. He will never make America great again like the slogan. He a white supremacist. Just like all you who voted that is not facts all you woke okay see I, I see i got the first part right got the first part right i always say man i always say when it doesn't matter who's running for president it does not matter who's running for president he can be the 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 goodest guy that that he perceives himself to be and that the world perceives himself to be right and then this person could be someone that comes off as blunt and an asshole and this and that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's always the lesser of two evils. None of these people truly give a flying Dutchman fuck about what we're going through. The blue collar worker, the, the middle class, the low class, the high cal. They really don't care. They really don't. In my opinion, my humble opinion it doesn't matter who we vote in it's the lesser of two evils that's how i see it because i feel like all of these politicians are scum all of them i feel like all of them rob us hurt us do things that we won't like and it's because we as a people can't put one person in power and then expect that one person to just be this perfect thing this perfect figure everybody has different mindsets everybody thinks different because of experiences that, that, that's just what i think okay Yo, president drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through the roof. There ain't no jobs to be found. Inflation going up. My kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows it. He will never make America great again like the slogan. He a white supremacist. Just like all of you who voted. That is not facts. All you woke morons do is talk trash. Drag queens in classrooms. Hate anyone who's not black. You're pro-white. You know that's what the Klan members are, right? You're anti-LGBTQ then why they always on your mind bro you're a boy you're a girl stop playing stupid you screwing up the youth and all the children are our future you don't care about the kids look at all the school shootings you're pro-gun it's your fault stop making those excuses you think anyone who don't agree with you 
was just a bigot. You're a fascist. You're a Nazi. You just mad because you triggered. You're just Ooh. jealous of the. You know what, man? I always said as well that both sides you can you can agree with certain things on both sides, right? Like because because both sides always have some type of point that you're sitting there like, yeah, okay, like I I get that, you know, I get that. But once again, it goes back to just human nature and being wrong no matter what. You can agree with both sides. You can agree with certain things that this person said. You can agree with certain things that this person said. And now you have to come to an opinion on your own and be like, okay, this is what I think. This is how I think we should maneuver through this. This is what we should do. This should be the solution. This is what we should cut out. Maybe there's a middle ground. Maybe there's a gray area. But when it comes down to politics, man, people just don't want to hear other people out. And it's wild to me because, like, even times on my videos where I will say something that someone doesn't agree with, or the massives, I should say, people would literally just argue with their selves in comments. And they'll just, just go off and call me all types of stuff, and uh, you're stupid from thinking this way. And I'm just like, you're feeding into the problem. Now, you can you can comment and be like, I see where you're coming from. I can understand why you would say that. But here's what I think. Because now you're open to discussion, right? You're not closed-minded. You're not like, oh, you're wrong. You're wrong. How, how, am, I, how am I wrong? <laughs> like, you're never wrong for your opinions. Like, if you ever see me comment on something, like, if it's someone's opinions, I always tell them, like, you're not wrong in your opinions. Like, that's a valid opinion. That's your opinion. I don't feel that way. I don't look at it that way. But you are valid in your opinions because that's your God-given right. You can speak up and say that. But now, once you close that door to me or to anyone, you're now wrong. You are the problem. You right there. The, the, the problem that you're speaking about saying that, oh, we can't get along and this and that. You are a pro part of it. You are the one creating it because you're not willing to sit down and have a discussion. Maybe your mind isn't, you know, fucking fully developed and you can't. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But that's just how I look at it. The left because we're progressive and we're winning. Now I'm tripping that you won the election because you rigged it. They put you on the left. They put you on the right. They tell you what to hate. Then they tell you who to fight. Till you're screaming. Screaming. You on the right, they put you on the left, they tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you screaming. Screaming. See, and that's so true, bro. And that is so true. We talk about this all the time, man. All the time, bro. They just want us fighting with each other. That's all. While they're they're in the back room. Talking to each other like, huh, huh, yeah, we got them. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, like this is this is gonna create the war. Like, th that's what I interpreted it as. Like, I truly believe that, bro. I truly believe that they just want us to see uh, us fighting because if we all come together, there's no stopping us, bro. There's no stopping us. Like. My president draining the swamp, we building walls. Your president opened the border for one and all. Now there's murderers and criminals evading the law. Walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic, saved the economy, and introduced legislation fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. <laughs> a woman's choice is your right. I feel like abortion is important, and you don't like. You're treating it like birth control. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter, and I also also meant unborn life. You're so clever. Go ahead, make your little memes while we're bringing home the soldiers who were in the Middle East. Okay, you brought the soldiers home, but then you burnt the flag and took a knee and left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless on the street. Build back better. There'll be violence and riots until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science. We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants. The right is fighting the system. The left designed to divide us. And that is clown talk. All you got is mean tweets. It's free speech. Call the cops. Dog, you defunded the police. This country will be better off without all you freaks. This is America, homie. Me. If you don't like it, you can leave. They put you and that's your right. 
I like how I like how he said that at the end. This is America, homie. Like you don't like it, you can leave. Like that is your right. But we have a right to do that. Like we have a right to do that because the men and women fighting for us gives us the right to do that. We're the best country in the world. You feel me? Why would you leave? I don't know. We are the best country in the world. We have some hiccups, we have some fuck ups, we we be messing up sometimes for sure for sure but we're still the best country in the world and i wouldn't want to be in any other place please this country will be better off without all you freaks this is america homie if you don't like it you can leave they put you on the left they put you on the right they tell you what to hate then they tell you who to fight till you're screaming screaming they put you on the right they put you on the left they tell you will ever give a damn about the truth it don't Facts. matter who's the winner because the people always lose no Facts. president will ever break the system from inside it's a deep state plan dividing us into sides it don't matter if you're left right black white red blue conservative or liberal rich poor me you republican Man. or democrat old young mean cool they promise us our freedom but then all we get is free doom and that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about that's facts bro that is facts they put you on the left, they put you on the right They tell you what to hate, then they tell you who to fight Till you're screaming Screaming They put you on the right, they put you on the left They tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you Screaming Screaming That's a fire song. Fire song. Tom's always, you know, talking about real shit, though. Like, he gets a lot of flack and stuff like that, but, like, he's he's always speaking his mind as he should. Like, he's in America, man. Like, he can speak his mind. Like, <laughs> you know, speak your opinions, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I dig it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.